A Frosh Week chant caught on video is causing a furor at a Halifax University. It appears to advocate underage, non-consensual sex. And as Tom Murphy reports, it turns out this isn't the first year the chant's been sung. It looks like your typical chant by Frosh Week leaders. But have a listen. Y is for your sister, they yell. U is for underage. N is for no consent. And that's only part of it. A rallying cry for no holds barred sex with minors. Some say that's promoting rape. I cried for three hours last night after I saw this. I don't feel that this is entertainment. The university's president calls the chant completely inexcusable. He goes on to say, we apologize unreservedly, says he was shocked by the incident. But here's the thing. The chant has been around campus for years. These women chanted the same words at last year's Frosh Week. We thought it was funny. We didn't yeah. think it was anything inappropriate. I'm not a feminist kind of person, so... It didn't affect me personally. That's not how the beleaguered student association president feels now. It's definitely the biggest mistake I've made um, throughout my university career and probably in my life. Despite having been told to keep Frosh Week respectful, he too admits to chiming in on the chant. A lot of our cheers don't, we don't necessarily look at the message. It's more about the rhyme and, and the chant behind it. All of this in a province with heightened sensitivity around the issue of sexual consent after the death of Retea Parsons. The 17-year-old died following a suicide attempt in April. Her family says she had been sexually assaulted two years earlier. So what does the university plan to do about the chanting incident? All 80 Frosh Week leaders involved will undergo more sensitivity training. The head of the Student Association says he will stay on as president and devote his time to writing what he now calls a wrong. It took a 16-second video to teach him a lesson he says will last a lifetime. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.